Stephen, the Action News investigators first exposed details of this investigation back in December. Tonight we're breaking new ground with something even the police don't have. These guys accused of being rogue cops were actually caught on tape during a drug raid. We've got the recording, and it's not flattering for one of the cops who's now facing criminal charges. You're watching a performance by a rock band called One, Others Not Equal. But this story isn't about heavy metal. It's about allegations of heavy-handed and unprofessional police tactics. The lead singer, Rudy Simpson, says he was a victim of these tactics in a drug raid at his home. It all centers around this man, State Police Lieutenant Luke Davis, who's now facing corruption charges. In June of 2008, the Omni Drug Task Force, headed by Lieutenant Davis, executed a search warrant on Rudy Simpson's Monroe County home. They based the search on an anonymous tip and a marijuana stem they said they found in the garbage. When the cops came in, Rudy's band was practicing in this basement recording studio. What the police didn't know is that the microphones were hot and everything was being recorded. Take a listen. Hope they're not mixing. But they were mixing, and two cops take turns singing on the mic, not knowing the whole thing is being recorded. Looking back on the memory. While those cops were in the basement, Rudy, his friend Jeremy, and members of the band were taken upstairs, where Lieutenant Davis and other task force members were searching the house. They were shocked by the behavior of the police. Very unprofessional. Um, almost thuggish. I felt violated and um, almost like if it was a game to them. Going into kitchen cabinets, eating cookies, and going in the refrigerator, eating stuff out of the refrigerator. It was very unprofessional. And it wasn't exactly a big drug haul for the cops either. Four ounces in the bag. They found a quarter ounce of marijuana, 12 small seedlings in a pot they claimed were marijuana, and a half a pain pill that Rudy later produced a prescription for. These guys say the police seemed more interested in Rudy's stuff than they were in the drugs they found. Basically what I heard them talking about was what equipment, what uh, materialistic stuff could they take out of my house. It seems like, yeah, that they were just trying to figure out what they could come out of here with. And now, hear it for yourself, caught on the band's equipment that the cops don't know was recording. Oh, we keep a bunch of booze, right? Oh, where are we at? I guess that's Luke's call, not mine. I was just trying to get you to stay on. Yeah, well, Luke comes out here and doesn't want to take care of you. Band, I'm going to say that quarter ounce, at least quarter ounce there. Oh, yeah. is going to give us a chance to take all this stuff, you know, according to Luke. Hey, uh... What do you want to take in the basement? You want to take the drums and all that or not? The police wound up taking three pages worth of stuff from the house, including some of Rudy's personal property, a 52-inch flat-screen TV, a DVD player, two computers, a camera, and a bunch of DVDs. Under the law, police are only supposed to confiscate property that was purchased with money earned from drug sales. Rudy admits he was smoking pot, but what evidence did they have that he was selling drugs? There was none. There was no sales. There was no undercover cops. There was nothing on paper. It was basically an uh, anonymous tip, they said. The Luke Davis corruption charges raised serious questions not only about the conduct of police officers, but also about Michigan's drug forfeiture laws. This report from a group called the Institute for Justice, Policing for Profit, rates all the states for their forfeiture laws. Michigan gets a D-. In Michigan, in a drug rate, they can take your property just with probable cause. In a lot of states, the burden is a lot higher, proof beyond a reasonable doubt. What drives a lot of the forfeiture abuse uh, in Michigan is the fact that under state law, law enforcement is entitled to keep 100% of all the property that they seize. In Michigan, they can even take your property without charging you with a crime. And I've learned that's what investigators are alleging happened in the Luke Davis case. Rudy Simpson was charged for the marijuana and a half a pain pill, even though he had a prescription for the pain pill. Simpson had another marijuana charge from 10 years earlier, and he says the prosecutor was playing hardball. You either take the charge for the half a Laura set from the prescription I had, or we're going to hit you as a bitch one. You're looking at prison time for a quarter ounce of weed. 
Rudy Simpson says he had no choice. He pled guilty and did some time in a halfway house. He says he decided to come forward and tell his story to Channel 7 after seeing our investigation on Luke Davis back in December. Rudy Simpson claims the Omni Narcotics crew also took $400 cash and a gold ring that was never even listed on the search warrant return. That allegation was denied by the prosecutor in court records. Where was the stuff they were taking going? Well, according to the charges that came down today, Luke Davis's friend was holding sales, selling this stuff, and then they were splitting the proceeds. Garage sales. That's what they're saying, yeah. And, it, yeah. and it's supposed to be going into the police department to fight drugs and into the prosecutor's office. And we'll see what happens when this case goes to court. You continue to follow it, and we'll be ready for your reports. Thank right. you so much, Scott.